Time for chart attack. We should also point out that the Dow Jones Industrial Average having a little chart attack of its own, up 192 points. This market is uh, certainly one that you have to watch moment to moment. That's why you are tuned in to Bloomberg Television. All right, so chart attack. We're going to try to make you a little bit smarter, make you a little money, and figure out what in the world is going on with Japan. We got two charts today, and Bill Fleckenstein, who is always fired up talking about central banks and Japan. Let's start with the Japanese tenure. Okay. So the reason the Japanese tenure matters is because, as I was talking about earlier on the show, if since they began their QE program, yields have gone from roughly 40 basis points. They went all the way to one, you know, 100 basis points, i.e., one percent, and now yep. backed off to about 88. So yields have roughly doubled in the same time they're printing a massive amount of money, buying a massive amount of bonds. That is completely unauthorized in the book of how markets are supposed to re react to what central banks do. And I tell you what, just so everyone can, uh, can see for themselves, let's bring in the camera here, John, and show everyone. There it is, that huge spike. And you think that is craziness, don't you? Well, I think it shows what, what, what happens. When you're in a zero interest rate environment like they have been in Japan and we are, people reach for yield. They do that one of two ways. They lever up to take a minute minuscule little coupon yeah, right. and turn it into something better, or they sell different kinds of volatility to enhance their yield. And when rates are held at zero and you think they're going to stay at zero, you can sell you know, uh, uh, call options on higher interest rates and think that you're just going to pocket that premium. And a lot of that has gone on. So then once the market starts to break out of the doldrums like that, there are a lot of unintended, unintended consequences and we're starting to see them now. All right, so that's the easy chart, the 10-year. You say actually what you really need to do is look at the swaption, the one-year swaption on Japanese yen that goes out five years. That's complicated stuff, and that's quite a chart. What well, does this tell you? Well, what I'm looking for is pain in the derivative books in Japan, okay? Because that's the part of the world where the central bank is eased and the bond market's backing up. I just explained two reasons why that might be happening. Right. So this kind of shows you these boys all sold this vol at the wrong price. And now what's happening is it's going against them. So basically, they're short something uh, at, say, tw a 20-ish kind of a vol, and it's blowing out. Now, since derivative books are run on the back of VAR and, and things like that, the, the implied volatility. Right, the amount you can lose in right, theory right. on a given day. In theory. In theory. It never really works no. in practice. But Never in theory, in theory. So if this number is going up, then, then, then what your VAR is changes. And so it has all kinds of ramifications. So this is when the butterfly flaps and swings in Japan. It causes perturbations around the world. And that's why you have to pay attention to what's going on over there, because it's eventually going to matter here. I think this is the very beginning of trouble in the same way that when this, the real estate bubble burst, the very first, first payment So stay tuned and fasten your seatbelts.